This one's gonna be on Synapse. Uh, basically, it's a new launcher. Let me see what they call it: Semantic uh, Keystroke Launcher. Now, if you never used a launcher before, um, and why would you want to use it? You're probably asking yourself. Basically, it's to access, uh, you know, programs or information quicker uh, that you want to open. So you wouldn't waste your freaking time, you know, going like here and then, oh, I want to open this program or whatever. You can do it from the the keyboard really quick. You see terminal, you you open it. That's the reason why people use these programs, okay? Um, so this one is kind of like a gnome do or kunfer, but it's a little bit different because it uses uh, Zynguets. And if you don't know what Zynguets is, it's a um, you know a backend program that logs whatever you've done. So if you open a file, you go to a web page, you chat it with someone, um, whatever it is, it will know about it. And it will actually rank it, I, I guess, uh, based on what you use a lot. And um, what this program does is uses Zynguets information and uh, give you the, the, the results, you know, more accurate to the user's uh, uh, information. So they know if you use uh, Chromium a lot, then they'll open it with Chromium or whatever it is. Uh, so that's the basic idea of this, okay? Anyways, control space is to open it and as far as the UI here, they have uh, different uh, styles than you have in uh, Gnome Do or Confer. So if you look at the top here, they have uh, all documents, images, and whatever. Now you press down on that, you can see that it's, uh, it tells you what, Im uh, what images I opened uh, 19 hours ago or whatever. And it does this for different ones too. So documents and whatever. And those information are based on Zynguets. So Zynguets know what you know um, files you've opened, and uh, that's what they use there. So if you can still do the normal stuff like you know open with uh, I don't know G Edit or something. Oops, that's not the one. Let me go back to all. So G Edit, and you still launch it like you do with uh, you know GNOME Do or Confer. So it's still a great launcher uh, on top of all these other uh, stuff that they have. Uh, they do have by uh, default, um, I think like three or four plugins. So let me show you some of the plugins here. So the first one, um, let's say you want to search Google, you can actually uh, search it from here. So let's say I search for my name here, complete you. And this thing is really weird because they don't have the dual pane thing. So you actually have to push down and you press N, okay, the N key to go all the way down. And then you push tab to get more um, you know options here. And then you have to hit Google here and you push enter and then you can search. So it's kind of weird because they don't have the dual ping, but that's what they got, okay? Um, you can do that uh, the same thing but you know with the locate if you want to search for something. Let's say I search for um, a song. If I search for let me see Sparta push down, N key, uh, tab, and you can see they have the locate here, push enter, and it'll search for it. And there you go, it has the, my song here, right, this is the song I was looking for. Now by default, it opens with uh, rhythm box, you can see that it says it right here, but if you want to push tab again, they'll give you more options. Uh, so this one is the, was it, open rhythm box, or this one adds to the playlist. Or if you want to open something else like uh, VLC or, you know, uh, was it uh, Movie Player? Let's say I open with Rhythm Box though, and you see it opens it with it. Um, if you you know you don't want to use Rhythm Box to to search for something, you can actually use your launcher to do it. So that's a little bit convenient there. As far as the UI part. Um, they do have different, uh, let me show you here, the different themes, so that's the default that we use, but you can use the mini, show you the mini, All right, it's just uh, skinnier I guess, Maybe preference, this is uh, Regelio, I think that's how you say it, see how this one looks like, um, uh, this reminds me of kind of like uh, Gnome Do or something, maybe? I don't know. Um, let's see the last one. What is the last one? Can I get it right? Dual, okay. And this one, 
Uh, you push tab, you get this run thing here. Um, kind of reminds me of maybe K Runner with the other view that it has, but you can do run. Not not a big deal. I kind of like the default better than the other one, so we can go back to the default. All right. But thing, I think that's it. That's all I gotta say about this program. You know, if you want to just search for a specific, uh, you can actually you know just go to the audio and um, just search for whatever it is you want. So if I go to audio and put Dre. You can see that it'll just try to look for the words Dre in there and they'll have it. Or it has, yeah, Dre, okay. Or you want to search, you can go to the last one, push tab, and they have locate. You don't have to actually push tab for uh, locate. By default, if you see the last one right there, uh, this last one with like an arrow, I mean a question mark, you can actually push enter and just search for uh, Dre. And there you go, that's it, that's all you gotta do. I think that's it for the program. Uh, it's pretty decent. I mean, it's not. It's only been the second release, so it can only get better. But uh, as far as right now, um, I actually would recommend it. At least try it out because it's really good. Plus, it's actually lightweight too. So let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. It's around probably uh, around five or ten megabytes, uh, depending on what usage that you do. But Synapse, look at that, 11 megs, right there. And as far as Zyngas, let me see here. Uh, it's about 12, or maybe a little bit higher. So those two together, about 20, not that much. Okay. Uh, so that's it. Check it out. Uh, Synapse, uh, really cool. Check it now.